A quick, simple, and easy to make jig? Hmm, is that possible? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Now the first thing you have to do is make a runner that this jig is going to ride on. Now I've already taken the time to go ahead and do that. And if you want information on how to make a proper runner out of hardwood, be sure and check out my crosscut sled video. It'll take you through the steps. Now, let's get to making this jig. Now I've got a scrap piece of plywood that we're just gonna cut 14 inches wide all the way through. Now using the crosscut sled, we're gonna square up one end of that piece and make two pieces for the top and bottom, one just a little bit longer than the other. And now with the leftover piece, we're going to make two right angled triangles. Now with the help of our miter gauge and a clamp to keep the wood from walking as we push it through, we can cut off the triangle. And now we're just gonna cut them down the side a little bit. All right, now taking the short piece, which is the bottom, we're gonna use my sled that I already have, but if you don't have this already made, which you probably won't, <laughs> go ahead and just tilt your saw blade at 45 degrees and just chamfer the one edge. Now while using a couple pennies as spacers, I'm gonna put the runner right on top of that and then glue it to the bottom. Now when placing this down, make sure that it is overhanging the blade by the tiniest bit. That way when we go to cut it for zero clearance, it'll be perfect. You can easily accomplish that part by using your fence as a stop. Then just put a weight on it to help the glue set. And just carefully lift it out, flip it over, we're gonna sink some 5 8 inch brads in. Now we're just gonna set up the pocket screw jig. For more information on this jig, visit my website at rhwoodshop.com. There you will find a set of plans to build your own. Now one of the improvements I'm gonna make on this is make a backstop or a fence that's three quarters of an inch thick using a normal sheet of wood instead of a piece of plywood. Now we're just gonna chamfer the edges on one face. One thing you wanna make sure of is only chamfer one side. You chamfer this side, you'll screw up your zero clearance and you'll get chip out on your project. Now we're just going to clamp this down, flush with the edge. Now just using inch and a quarter long screws, screw it into place. Now we're going to use a speed square and then glue these uh, triangles right flush with the chamfer we have on the edge here. Now while using the tabletop as a reference point, and place this piece right on top, and then we're just gonna pop some nails into those triangles. Now lastly, run it across the blade, creating a zero clearance, 45 degree miter sled. All right, now I mentioned that I wanted to make some improvements on this one versus my old one. I know they look similar, but the improvements are. The runner right here on my old one was exactly the thickness of my miter gauge. And I didn't exactly like that because if there was any sawdust that was in the groove of the table saw, this thing would ride on it. I made this one, it actually is a little bit thinner. So the only thing rubbing the table saw is the bottom of the jig, which is what I want. Now, the triangles that are in the back, I'll show you this one versus that one. You can see I made these a little closer together than I did these. When I put this one together, I realized I didn't put them in far enough to get clamping past my fence here. So that caused a problem. 
Then lastly, the backstop fence on my old one, I rounded over on all four edges, not to mention the one that I cut off, but it was also made out of three quarter inch plywood, which causes a tear out problem because plywood is thinner than regular hardwood. So I made my backstop on this one out of regular hardwood. That solves my tear out problem. I also did not chamfer or round over the edge that will be against the workpiece, which also takes care of the tear out problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed this jig making episode. Remember, if you like this project, you will find a full set of plans on my website for a quick and easy build of your own. You will also find apparel such as shirts and hats, and hey, I invite you to go to the other YouTube woodworkers websites such as Nick Ferry. Be sure and support their channels as well. You can find apparel there that you can purchase. All right, I'll see you next time on the very first episode of Rockin' Recommendations, Your Two Cents. Just like that, I'm out of here. Boom!